Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. I got a little help with me here. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us together and making us families and helping us to be a family, especially when it's tough. Lord, we pray for families that are struggling, especially families that are have no connection to your word, that have separated themselves from faith, that don't have the support of a, of a church. Lord, we pray for people that are just trying to figure it all out for themselves, their own way. And Lord, that's an awful tough way to go through life. But Lord, we also pray for fellowship. We pray for the church as it's coming together, as it's being uh, reunited. We pray for churches that have in the past broken off into little denominational groups and almost in the same way that some families try to work out their Christian faith for themselves, they're doing the same thing. And so, Lord, help us to work together. Even if we can't meet and praise in the same facility, Lord, the, the churches always, as long as they confess you as, as their Lord and Savior, that they are coming together, that they are working together to be your church and a witness before the world of what it means to, to work things out and to, and to serve together in Christ's name. Lord, help us when we make this the service that we give and the goodness that we do, we make it about ourselves. Lord, forgive us when we hold grudges against one another and and put each other down and, and lord ourselves over others. Lord, we are meant to build each other up and be humble before you and with one another that we may be of service to all and a, and a grace to everyone's life. Just as Christ offers us grace and wholeness, peace and and, and life everlasting, may we seek after the truth that is in him especially as we turn to your word now. Guide us in your Holy Spirit, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And to, today we're going to read a passage together from 1 John chapter 20. And it says, If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? Do you love your brothers? Yeah. Sometimes. S some, sometimes? Is it sometimes hard to love your brother? Yes, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, like when? Yeah, you know. When When you what? Whenever they're being uh, Sil silly or annoying or they're into your stuff or yeah. in your space, into your personal space. And you're <laughs> sometimes it's hard to love a father, too, you know, and be, being... being tough on you or when I ground you or do you hold a grudge no no try not to right sometimes we find ourselves holding on to things that people have done and bringing it up again and again and again and that's not good to do and it separates us not only from loving each other but especially from loving God and being a sign of God's love for other people so what do we do mm. do we forgive one another yes yeah, even when it's like really, really upsetting and hard to do, even when it's hard to, to forgive, especially when it's hard to forgive. What happens after you forgive someone? It feels good. It feels great. Mm. Ah, you don't necessarily have to hug them. At least you shake hands. But you feel better and you feel better together. And... You become a team again, and you're able to help one another, right, Jamie? Yeah. yeah. And that's what we're supposed to do all the time, is to, is to look for ways to help one another and to be on each other's side, but most of all, to be on God's side. And that means love one another. How can we say that we love God if we're not getting along with each other? So let's look for a way to always get along and show God's love. God bless and keep you. Amen.